Hello and welcome to Real Estate in Focus. When is a good time to buy? Of course, there are life circumstances that will force us to buy. For example, when we get married, when we have a good job, when we have saved our down payment, or, or when we are moving to a, an, a, another city or town. But the ideal situation to buy a house is buy low, sell high. To understand when to buy, we have to understand two important points. And these are called leading indicators, which means before something happens, we have enough information to know what is going to happen. These two indicators are total number of sales. It means how many houses sold this year, compare it with the previous years, and you find out the trend where it is going. If the total number of houses sold is less, it means there is less demand. It means the prices will fall. If it increases, it means the prices will go higher. The second indicator is ratio of sales to new listing. It means that the total number of houses that came in the market for sale, and then how many of those houses that came in the market sold is the ratio between new listings to the total number of sales. And again, we are comparing this ratio of sales to new listing with previous years. If we see a trend that there are houses coming in the market and people are buying them, it is increasing the total number of houses that are selling. It means the trend is going higher. It means there is a demand. It means the prices will go higher. If this trend is going to be lower, it means there are less number of people interested to buy. That means the trend is going downwards, and eventually the prices will go down. So these are the two leading indicators that you as a buyer should follow. The total number of sales and the total number of sales compared to the new listing in the market. The bottom line is that real estate is like a momentum graph. It starts from a point that is the lowest or lower point, and then the trend goes higher, and then becomes flat, and then it starts falling. This cycle continues. You have to keep following this trend to buy when the graph is starting to rise, and this rise will continue as history has shown for about a decade. But I think before I go, I want to establish this point that real estate market is not simple. This is not just based on these two leading indicators. We have interest rates, we have pent-up demand, we have sometimes even external influences such as Olympic Games coming to a city that might affect the price of real estate in that city. So, but these two points, that the total number of sales and the total number of sales compared to the listings in the market are very profound points to keep in mind before investing in real estate. Thank you, and hopefully this, will, this was useful for you.